Hello to you and welcome to MB Tech TV, where we like to help you find affordable products faster. Now, if you haven't been here before, hi to you. My name is Ryan, and if you want to keep up to date with all things tech, all you need to do is make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell so you do not miss anything. So those of you may have seen one of our videos we covered quite a while ago and it's with regards to the Fundu Pro app and how to connect your IWO watches or your W26 sort of smart watches to the app to get the best out of it. Now I've been getting loads and loads of comments like what you can see on screen now regarding issues with the watch and with the app itself so what we thought we'd do in this video is give you some step-by-step -step stuff on how to resolve the issue and it is really really easy to fix now thank you to those of you that have been and watched the video itself it is absolutely it's appreciated so thank you very much loads of you have been to watch it so thank you uh, but if you have hit the snag of illegal device showing up on the fundu pro app then this little step is very very simple but we're going to talk you through it and all the tools you'll need will be down in the description box below. So if you need anything, go and head down there. Now for this today, all you're gonna need is your smartphone and of course your smart watch as well, whether that be one of the W ranges or the IWO ranges, have that with you. Now before you start, all you need to do is make sure that you have got, if you have got the current Fundu Wear app installed on your device, you need to install it so it's completely gone, so otherwise there'll be conflicts there. So for this, we're gonna go head over to uh, the smartphone. For this, you're gonna see all the graphics on screen so you can see what I'm doing at the same time as well. But if you have got any questions at all, please feel free to get them down in the comments box below. Or you can either contact us through any of our social media platforms. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter as well. You can hit us up on there. So let's head over to the phone. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do this. You can either head over to Google on your device and then literally search for Fundu Pro old versions and once you've done that you'll get this sort of screen here and you're looking for where it says fundoware.en up to down so you'll see it here it says fundoware old versions android so you can either search it that way or because i'm nice i'm going to put the link in the description for you as well so you can just click down there but once you've clicked that, you'll be taken to up to down's website. So a massive kudos for them for supplying this. Thank you very much. So when you scroll down, you will see there there's a generation of um, their releases. So their latest one or the backdated one was from November 7th this year, July 13th. Da, da, da. You'll see there's a few. Now, during my testing, I found that the November 7th, 2021 works. And that's at time of recording uh, that actually works. So what you need to do is simply tap on that. You'll see the green download button and hit download. Allow that to download to the device. It's really quick, once that's done, hit open. And again, just follow those prompts on screen. So let's install. It takes literally a matter of seconds. My watch is on standby, it's ready, it's there. It should take just a second. And there we go, it's done. So let's press open. So just like all the other kind of sport apps, you will get um, messages asking for permissions to access all that sort of stuff which is completely normal uh, for any sort of sport watches because they want access to your storage your phone uh, different elements in there you've done it all before you I'm not gonna talk, talk to you about that so you'll get you'll see it's an old menu here but that's what we want to do because that's how we're gonna get across this so I've swiped across all them hit start and then that's it then. So now it's just prompted me again to open the rights of storage, location, camera, SMS, that usual stuff. So we'll do that. I'm not creating an account. So if you have an account at this point, put that in there because if you store all your details, uh, then that's your way of tracking it, pop it in there. But because I haven't got one, I'm just going to go back and it's asking me for the notifications again. So let's go through and click allow. So we want it to bring those notifications to my device. And back there so then open the rights again so we're gonna hit OK and that's gonna take me to um, the internal sort of side of it at my end so permissions and then I'm just gonna literally go through and just allow these there's some camera contacts location of course, for your GPS and you're running, all that sort of stuff. Uh, microphone, SMS, allow, that's storage, and then finally, telephone. And I'm going to go back, and that's it. 
you are paired, believe it or not. So if I swipe down there, you can see it says the smart device connected, that's there, and then it will sync all the details across, and that is how simple it is. Now I'm hoping that with a bug fix, um, that this issue may resolve itself in the next few months but if there's something that's really annoying you and you need to get past that certain point then those are the steps in order to get it done and it's as simple as that so if you need the link remember it's down in the description below go and head down there and um, or you can just search for it on google and just simply follow those steps and as mentioned earlier if you have got any issues questions anything like that any other little issues let us know and get them in the comments box below because we always love hearing from you uh, but if you want to check out more from us of course there is loads more content over on our website as well over at mmbtechtv.co.uk UK. You can check out there all our videos, our blogs, any, late, any latest competitions uh, and of course you can get your details in if you want to feature on our live streams as well. So you can go and check it all out. Uh, but thank you very much for watching but until next time it's bye bye for now.